election. Now to the contentious race for the District 1 Metro Council seat, which includes parts of Bordeaux, Whites Creek, and Jolton. It doesn't look like there will be the need for a runoff there, as Nick Leonardo is the apparent winner. Let's go to the 5 Alert Center now. Jason Lamb, who's been following the results for us tonight. Jason, what is the latest? Well, Carrie, this was a particularly contentious three-person race in a district that had gone without Metro Council representation since January. Let's get right to the numbers. This is with 100% reporting now. Nick Leonardo is the apparent winner with 56.9% of the vote. William Mason came in second place with 37.3% and Reuben Dockery came in last with 6% of the vote. Leonardo, who full disclosure is a News Channel 5 legal analyst, takes over a vacant seat after former Councilman Linnell Green resigned back in January. Green faces a charge of witness coercion for allegedly trying to keep a domestic abuse victim from talking to police. This was the scene at German town pub just about an hour ago as supporters congratulated Leonardo on the win. Here's what he had to say after the results came in. We still got to focus on the jolt and compression station. You know, we still uh, don't have sidewalks in a lot of places in District 1. Uh, and we also have a lot of issues from overlays and stopping gentrification or trying to curb the free market effects of gentrification. Uh, and, and we just, we're kind of behind there. And so I'm ready to take office, get in there and bring us up to speed and, uh, and making sure that the folks in District 1 have a voice. With Leonardo apparently winning over 50% of the vote tonight, the district avoids a September runoff, which would have left that district without representation even longer. Reporting live in the 5 Alert Center, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.